I'll take that can of soup. I you beg your pardon. Oh, well, come now. There's no sense making a scene. Give him the soup. Well, there are plenty of cans of chicken gumbo over in the shelves. Yes, but I want that one. And now, now here, see, this is chicken gumbo. Now you take this one. Well, don't be a can cheese. grabber. Uh, oh, and, and, and enchiladas, uh, frozen enchiladas, uh, 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 scalloped chicken, uh, salmon, uh, 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 broccoli spheres, uh, frozen pizza. Gentlemen. My chicken gumbo is not on the trading block. All right, lady, let's have that chicken gumbo. What's the matter with everybody? Oh, I get it. I'm on television. Hi there, everybody. Ah! onto a ring of cutthroat soup nappers. <laughs> thousand dollars come on only because I painted it okay okay don't put me on what's really in that can in it chicken gumbo soup of course I just painted the label is that what's so valuable precisely that's pop art mr. bolt you people have got to be kidding madam Mr. Corbin's pop art paintings earned us over $200,000 last year. I assure you, we couldn't be more serious. What do you mean, we? Oh, forgive me. I'm Willis Van Wick, the art dealer, and a Sandy Soul representative. I earn a percentage of everything he sells. Stuff like that? Mr. Bolt, that full moon is worth $12,000. What? Of course, Sam. The quarter moon is worth $3,000. Hey, what's that? This is Mr. Corbin's chandelier. Would you mind turning it off? I don't know whether to stop, go, or yield. Certainly. Now, Mr. Van Wick, can we get back to the soup? What was it doing on the shelf in the first place? It was a bet. A ridiculous bet. It wasn't ridiculous. I had to know. Yesterday I made a foolish statement. I told Sandy that as good and realistic as his work is, it would never be mistaken for the real thing. So he took his masterpiece, the can of chicken gumbo soup, and he put it on the market shelf and Aunt Meg never knew the difference. And he lost. I think you both lost. <laughs> You know, right now, 
Hello? That's right, at the supermarket. It... No! Absolutely not, and I refuse to discuss it. Would you like to tell us all about that, Mr. Corvin? It wasn't important. If you want your $10,000 can of soup back, you're going to have to cooperate. It, it was Barry King, uh, Sandy's press agent. If this is a publicity stunt, you... Oh, now, Miss West, it was a spur-of-the-moment idiotic bet. No one knew about it. Someone obviously knew, and that someone stole your can. Yeah, and all we've got to go on is a thief and the possibility that that Aunt Meg might be able to identify him. So why don't we take Aunt Meg and go... and go downtown and identify some mug shots? That won't be necessary. I made a sketch of the thief. A sketch? Well, that, that's him. That's really him. Look at his face. It, it, it's got soup thief written all over it. Now that we've got him, what are we going to do with him? He's my date. The two of us are going to make a tour of every museum, gallery, art dealer in town. And I still keep getting the same answer. I'm sorry, miss. I've never seen the man before. He's not the type to patronize our art gallery. I'm afraid you haven't been much help. Just a minute. Uh, just a minute. There is something rather familiar about him. Do you recognize him? Oh, not the man, but the style of painting. It's a perfect imitation of Sandy Corbin's technique. It should be. He did it. It's a Corbin original? Oh, well, in that case, I'm prepared to pay you uh, $2,000 on the spot. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, all right. You're too smart for me. $3,000. Uh, Mr. Leopold, he's not for sale, and we are in a big hurry. $3,500, and that's my final offer. Mr. Leopold, you're going to pull his arm off, and we don't want a one-armed bandit. 4000 Mr. Leopold, you're going to force me to do something we're both going to regret. I must have him! I must have him! I must have him! Oh, Miss West, wait! A five thousand! Look, I've told you five thousand times, publicity has nothing to do with the truth. If you want the truth, go to see a documentary. Now, you're paying me to keep your name in the papers. How I do it is my business. Now, get off my back and be grateful that I'm doing it. Yeah, goodbye. Clients. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Ball, where were we? We were talking about a stolen can of soup. Mr. King, I know you're Sandy Corbin's press agent, so if this is any kind of publicity stunt... Publicity stunt? Oh, you flatter me, Mr. Bolt. You know, if I could pull a stunt like that soup caper, I wouldn't have to be here in this crummy office without a staff and a bunch of screwballs for clients. Hey, have some nuts, Mr. Bolt. No, thanks. Nuts and bolts. Hey, that's funny. Nuts and bolts. You get it? <laughs> I got it. A can of soup was stolen. Oh, uh, don't remind me. What a press release that would have made. And you know what really hurts? I can't use it. Why not? Corbin won't let me. Oh, how it hurts. I can't begin to tell you how it hurts. Go have sensitive audits for clients. You're wasting your time as a press agent. You should be an actor. You think so? Yeah, I think so. And you know what else I think? No, what? I think Barry King and Corbin planned this whole soup can theft as a publicity stunt. The last minute, Corbin got cold feet and backed out. Corbin hired us just to make the whole thing look legitimate? Right. So you see, honey, we've wasted all our time. Well, what about him? He's the one who stole the can of soup. He's just another link in the publicity chain. Let's face it, we've been taken. Come on, let's take this cutout back to the cutout. <laughs> I'm safe with him. He's been a perfect gentleman all day.
Forget about the Corbin copy. What do you mean? We've got the original right here. What? Honey. It's gonna drive me crazy. Nothing's real. It's painted. This is the real soup can, thief. Well, we're left with a few minor questions. Like what's he doing in Corbin's apartment? Why is he dead? Who killed him? And by the way, who is he? Sam, look. Hotel Greystone, 414. I ask you, Sam, is this the room of an art collector, even a pop art collector? Looks like the room of a punk who was hired to steal the can. Precisely. A murder? For a can of soup? Well, the French brought a whole revolution over a loaf of bread. I found it. Company. Mm -hmm. I know you're in here, so don't bother hiding. Actually bit me, honey. Of course I bit you. Didn't you know that nuts were good to sharpen your teeth with? Ask any squirrel. Oh, go ahead and insult me, Miss West. But I've been following you and Mr. Bolt ever since he left his office. So what? So I found a dead body left behind in Sandy Corbin's studio. And now I find you in a dead man's hotel room with a stolen can of soup. Sam, I think he's accusing us of robbery and murder. You think right. Well, don't tell us. Why don't you tell it to the lieutenant? Are you accusing them of robbery and murder? Well, there she is with the evidence right in her hand. Now, what could be a more open and shut case than that? Lieutenant, he's just a two-bit press agent. He's trying to get a good story. Sam, even so, there's no denying that the can of soup that Honey is holding in the picture matches the one on the table there. I mean, there it is. Look, we were hired by Corbin. I but... know, I know, to find the can of soup. And now you're in it. Get it? In the soup. <laughs> well, as far as we're concerned, we've done the job. We found the soup, so the case is closed. What about the murder? Well, now, Lieutenant, if you'd like to hire us to find the killer for you... Hey, what you doing? Stop, that's a Corbin original. That's evidence. No, it isn't. It's chicken noodle soup. So? So the Corbin original was chicken gumbo. Isn't that right, Mr. Kane? Lieutenant, we've got things to do. Time is important. Ah, uh, yeah, your excuse. Thanks. But keep in touch. We will. What are you going to do about him? How should I know? I'm only a policeman. What this case needs is a chef. Why didn't the killer bother to pick up the soup can from the hotel room? I don't know. Maybe he knew it was a phony. Yeah. But then where's the real can? It could be that the killer had it all along. Hey, wheel this around. The killer hires a thief to pick up the phony can of soup from the supermarket, figuring that everybody else would think that it was the real can. In the meantime, he had the real can all along. Yeah, but why'd the hired thief go to Corbin's apartment? Maybe, maybe he didn't know it was a phony. Maybe he decided he would double-cross the man who hired him and sell the can back to Corbin. But Corbin wasn't home. But the killer was. That same man who hired him. So the killer had that real can of soup all the time. And still has. Pop entrance for a pop art gallery. Very appropriate. I 
$5,000 for a coat? It's not even mink. Well, this wig's only $6,000. I wonder if that's with or without a comb out. Now, would you mind telling me what this is supposed to be? Two art patrons who couldn't find their way out. Sam, swing the flashback. The stairs. Hey, don't be too sure. Remember that painted door. They're real. You check down here. I'll check upstairs. You be careful. Remember, you killed one man already. Honey, come to think of it, he wouldn't have that can on display. But we need a safe cracker to get in. Sam, I think the old boy lives here. The cupboard is not there. I found it. Just waiting for old Mother Hubbard. Take it to London, where I have a client who's willing to pay almost twice what the ridiculous thing is worth. I'll take that masterpiece now. Sam? And I'll take that. To the door. Mr. Bolt, stay right where you are. We'll be right down. I said stop. I have a gun at Miss West's head. to art lovers. Here's my real collection. Monet, Picasso, Renoir, Gauguin. You must admit, it's magnificent. All stolen? Most of them. They're very nice. There's something special about a simple can of soup. Ah, Mr. Bolt, let's have no ugly display of passion. You'll force me to violence. What's a highbrow like you doing selling pop art? For the money, of course. There's a fortune in pop art. We highbrows have to eat, too, you know. Well, why don't you sell part of your collection? There's a lot more money in that. Never. Sell this exquisite beauty. It'd be like selling my soul. 
How did you so feel when you killed a man? It was regrettable and unavoidable. Just as your deaths will be. You'll be quite dead when I get back from Europe, you know. But you'll have Monet, Picasso, Renoir, Gauguin to keep you company. What a magnificent way to go. You really should thank me, you know. Well, goodbye now. <laughs> something that's pretty artistic. We ought to name it. Let's call it Jailbird. If I had the wings of an angel. <laughs> to Sandy Corbin. Long may his art pop. <laughs> Get it, Pop? <laughs> and uh, to Honey West uh, for getting me out of the soup. <laughs> right. Say, if we toasted every variety, this could turn into a real party. I'll drink to that. Excuse me. Would you care for soup or salad with your dinner? Salad! salad. Thank you. 